that's the, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. I was to try to give you a sound that niggas is chasing and going with, like, like, like a lot of people are trying to go with that spoiler. That's kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he, you know what I'm saying? He popped with that shit. Yeah. So they figure, all right, well, shit, that nigga did it. I, fuck I, it, can, I do can do it. it. And that shit, that shit's not how that shit work. To me, you know what I'm right. saying? That shit, bro, bro um, all of this shit, bro, to me, all this shit be. Sounding light, fam. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't feel like I don't feel like what Splurge is doing is like some new new shit. Like just some whole what's 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 new. Like what's what's the difference? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are y'all saying like in the flow or? I'm just talking about just the uh, the beats and like like the sound uh, of the, the kind of beats you go on, with. Yeah, not the melody. You know what I'm saying? Beat. Yeah. I don't mean necessarily like I'm I'm gonna have to listen more to the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't haven't I haven't really you No, know, nah, I ain't even gonna say like say I just I'm just talking about just like from the songs I've heard and then yeah. like 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 I mean, cause I follow all the blogs. So like right. like, like like when I hear like, like niggas like songs being out, I'm like that shit sounds like shit like Spurs is you know what I'm saying? Like that's a Spurs type of beat. Okay. So it's like at, at, I don't really feel like they trying to rap like him, but I feel like they trying they trying to chase his way though. So I feel like that kinda hurt him in the process. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for because, sure. I can see that. Because he ain't necessarily just, you know what I'm saying, like 100% like made it yet. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you try to make it, you got 100 niggas on, trying on, to get on, your shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? On your sound, it's like, well, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got niggas getting hot off my shit. And I ain't even made it. You know what I'm saying? And that's a problem when people try to, like, why artists just stick with one producer? Because if you stick, got that one producer last year, you, and you build a sound with that producer, you know nobody's gonna it's gonna be people trying to bite that sound that's not gonna be able to create that exactly like y'all create that that type of but you but you don't wanna lock a nigga I mean like how you gonna lock a nigga down like that? You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, that's at the end of the day a, a a producer if you unless he came up with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, the only that's way. That's what I'm saying though, like with Deep Black Jeffrey Splurge, well, they kinda came up together so they should have kept trying to really follow that wave and build something with that and then boom let's branch off let's do these features and do this shit then once they really like got a deal solid with somebody bro. so who is the niggas that's taking a flavor i feel like who y'all got like know some artists that's actually still in the sauce of this nigga or what no i mean yeah yeah i think bro like i it's just like Cause i think he actually said something in that uh that new track he got that uh, niggas been stealing the goo ain't my fault or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny to me. Nah, I fuck with that hoe. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's like more of his voice, though. Cause I feel like he can't really hop on whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, so transitioning from, like, so when you started doing the battle rapping too, fam, mm -hmm. did you, had you already tried to like to put projects together or what? Uh, all right. So how it started was I uh, I was in a group called the Freshman my senior year of high school. It was me, my partner Xavier, and my nigga Shane. Yeah. And so like, damn, that champagne got nigga broke. Right, right, right. It's gonna do that too. So we uh we dropped the mixtape. This was back kind of still during the CD era. Yeah. So I remember it was it was 2011 when they first opened the Hollands. So, uh, <coughs> it was like, when there was a, I think it was like an Independence Day, it was popping the fireworks shit, so everybody was, was in the Highlands that day. Mm -hmm. So, shit, I, I dropped the mixtape, nigga, I pressed out like, like 200 CDs, and I, and I went out and just packed mm -hmm. that bitch up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how, like, how I got the name Blaze, because I just started, you know what I'm saying? Because I like, mm -hmm. I, like, I started rapping like that, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So, and then, uh, I think it was like 2000, 13, 14, probably 13, yeah. uh, this nigga Vic uh, had a battle. I, I, I just fucked his nigga named Vic the Pope. And he had a uh, he had a battle at a uh, sit barbershop. On, on I the probably was there, I think, because yeah, I went that's to- That's when it first started. When it first yeah. started. And I went to the shop. Yeah, the old shop. Well, well shop. I know they had a few there. I know I went yeah, to, yeah, I went yeah. to one of y'all battles I at, like at the two shop. Months. And so uh, when I went and I seen that shit, I said, "Okay, this shit kind of loud." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like two, it was like two weeks later I signed up. You know what I'm saying? And hopped in that shit. Yeah. And, and niggas was fucking with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it said they like what I was doing. So I was like, cause I was like, if niggas tell me I suck, I'll just stop today. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? I wasn't even doing no tripping. Niggas was fucking with me. Right. So I just 
I just ran with it. I just kept Damn, going. Damn, so you was really new to this. Yeah. I never, I never, I never done it before. Never in life. That's crazy, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. That's that. That's that God, God giving talents and shit. Cause see. When I was watching you, nigga, I'm thinking like, damn, this nigga. At first, you know, I think my first thought was probably like, damn, this nigga must be up, uh, from up north or some shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just came with that shit so naturally. You know what I mean? But so, so you did the project first. So it wasn't really a big, yeah, we probably got. But it wasn't really a big transition from you. So it wasn't difficult for you to transition from the battle rap to doing like these full projects like nah, that. Nah, because I mean, well, it's it was hard in a sense of, you know what I'm saying, trying to like like, like transition like, you know what I'm saying, with the you know what I'm saying, just having to present yourself. Uh so like like understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, like okay, so it's like, you know what I'm saying, with with battles, I get to focus on one person. You know what right. I'm saying? And I I'm 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 rapping for three rounds, that's probably like thirty minutes of work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I can sit down, I got four weeks or five weeks to, you know what I'm saying, write that shit down. Okay. I can do that. Okay. With with songs, it's actually a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can sit down in the studio, you know what I'm saying, and I can do a song in fifteen minutes. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Well, I work with one producer, his name Chris Miner, that's my nigga, he, he the one that did my album. Yeah. And so me and him, we got like we got a rhythm, so you know what I'm saying? He'll he'll do me, you know what I'm saying? Like he'll make a beat like twenty minutes. You know what I'm saying? As he's making the beat, I'll write to that bitch. Right, you know what I'm saying? Knock the song out. And now I'm like, all right, shit, let's do another one. He'll make yeah. another beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll do like three songs per session. Oh, and that's so, crazy. And that's really how I started uh that's how that's how I started doing the uh, album. I I got I, I went to jail one day on some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, my little brother sent me to jail. <laughs> you said he sent you? Yeah, 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 my little brother sent me to jail. Yeah, yeah that nigga robbed me. And then when I went to go, you know what I'm saying, retrieve what what was taken from uh, me. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Yeah, he called them people on me, so. I bombed out, you know what I'm saying, the next day. And same day I got out and I called Chris Money. I said, well, I just need to, you know what I'm saying? I and, and this is before I started like I, I making the album or anything. This was like back in June. Yeah. And like I was like, I just, I just need to just rap food. And I right. and I hadn't even like, I promise you, I hadn't been to the studio in probably a year. Mm -hmm. Year and a half, bro, but that's like like cause I was in I, I was in, I was in lock up for like a like a whole twenty four, probably like thirty two hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you ain't got nothing to do with this. This is, this is you in the walls, bro. Right. Like, you just sitting there. So I'm just got to recollect on you. You know what I'm saying? Talk. You got the phone. I'm calling people. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. bored. I got a couple free calls I can make. But shit, outside of that, nigga, I ain't got, I can't, can't do shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm just thinking, like, bro, what, like, what am I finna do, fool? Like, you gonna know, keep going through this and You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and it's like, I feel like I was done with the battle rap anyway. I feel like that shit wasn't really going for me like how I was for it to go. So, right. shit, what I'm gonna do, I'm either be, you know what I'm saying, a, a regular ass nigga, I'm, I'm gonna dive into this shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what I did, you know what I'm saying? And then I, I say from June to now, I made like 200 songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just been, I just been recording. Bro. That's crazy, just, bro. That's, you know that's how you gotta lock in, though. If you really wanna get this shit, you gotta. Right, you gotta lock in, bro. Just keep, and, and put out everything, bro. Man, don't, don't hold back some shit or think you can. Just put the shit out, cause you never know, like, which one is which. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what, uh, with the Kelvin, the Kelvin track, bro, mm -hmm. break that down for me. Like, I know it was like, some artistic shit going on on there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, like, what's the what's the story behind it? All right, so, uh, so, uh, that was my young nigga. Yeah. Uh, long story short, it, like, when we first got cool, I was actually beefing on him, you know what I'm saying, over like a little, little small situation or whatever. Right. And so, we, uh, we ended up fighting. Pop got it out the way. And like the next day he called me and he like on some friendly shit. And I ain't funny. I was just like, I thought like, we good? He's like, yeah, we good. And shit, nigga, we just, I swear to God, we been cool ever since. Like, that was, yeah. just, that, was my, that was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even like no real beef. We just had to, you know, that's me. Yeah, so, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, some shit out. Yeah. And shit, I, like, we was just locked in. So 
I just remember uh, I had I had moved to uh, to North Carolina for like like a year or two. I remember like the year I was moving back, he ended up uh, he ended up killing himself like probably like two months before I moved back. Yeah. And it's like you know I never got a chance to really like you know when I'm down through there, you know what I'm yeah. saying, just talk to him and not saying I could have changed anything or, or anything, whatever, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. I, just, but I just, I wish I would have had a chance to just like holler at my nigga, you know what I'm saying, right. was, cause I feel like, you, you know what I'm saying, niggas don't, niggas don't, they feel like they can't talk to niggas about that, you know what I'm saying. Bro, what, what, what is that, bro, that we as, as black men, we'll be, we'll have a nigga we'll literally ch talk to or chop it up with every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like have a nigga you tell like some of the wildest shit to, but when it comes to like your problems or or you know shit you really dealing with. I mean, cause you feel like niggas don't wanna hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? You be feeling like man, like what would make my problem bigger than his? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What would make like like. I mean, but that nigga might have the same problem. No, it's true. That's the thing. It, it's true, what I'm saying, but just, I, I'm just saying, just like, initially, I, I know, like, like that's how I used to think, like, man, I don't want to waste nobody's time while I'm feeling bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They got other shit to worry about. They got kids, or they got right. family, or they got their problems, so why, why, why would I, I bother them with what the fuck I'm going through? I figure it out. I'm a man. Fuck it. Right. But I realize after a while, bro, you, all you doing is just piling that shit on yourself. You ain't, exactly. you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, Because, I just feel like. like yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna tell y'all what I tweeted. Is that just a man thing though? Like, uh, dude. Y'all keep going, I tweeted some early. Like, is that a, is, is that just a man thing or is that like a black man thing? I mean, I, I can't I can't speak for other races, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I feel like this is you know, it's black man. I mean, I, I can't speak for you. Well, is that like, just a they, people, a uh, humanity thing? Like, do even women discuss their problems to a motherfucker? I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like some, I, I feel like some don't. Yeah, you know, I don't you think can't so. Can't show your true emotions as a man, bro. It only makes you, it makes you look weak. Yeah, and niggas try, niggas do try to take advantage of your weaknesses. Yeah, all the time, bro. Yeah, I know. If nigga think you soft, he gonna play with you. Yeah, he gonna play. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying at the same time, bro. It's like we should be able to to niggas that we actually fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like at that point, a nigga should have an understanding of you to know. When you need to just get something off your chest, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it could be some shit you just need to get off your chest, nigga. That don't help. Like if you fucking with the nigga, you know you should know his his mo. You know what I mean? You you should know if the nigga pussy or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, nigga, I know which of my partners that's go do something and which of my partners not. That's why like I, I, I don't kick it with a nigga cause cause of his. You know what I'm saying? That's why like I his stance or. I feel like I hate like when people try to like like go like go, go overall with it. Like I feel like at some point in time you you like you don't gotta prove yourself to nobody, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> as a as, 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 as a person, a you know what I'm saying? As a as a person, you can see it anyway, bro. You know what I'm saying? But right. listen, what you tell me, bro? If if, if you a hoe, I can see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you you know what I'm saying? If you're frail, I can the see fuck? it regardless of what you tell me. Yeah. So I don't need you to tell me anything. Right. Well, if you're real, I can see it, bro. I don't need you to to to, to further convince me. Of how real you are, bro. Mm -hmm. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, so up. it's cool. We ain't even gotta have that conversation. Or, or, or you ain't even gotta try to build yourself up to me, bro. You know? And that's what I'm saying too, bro. At this age, bro, like a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, you fucking with at this age, bro. What the age I'm at, nigga? I'm 33, mm -hmm. nigga. I ain't I, every nigga I fuck with, nigga. I've been fucking with for 15 years mm -hmm. and up. You know what I mean? I ain't out here just uh, pulling up on all. Uh, or I know this nigga history, you know, or uh, something. Like, I know something. I ain't just fucking with no strangers out here making no new fucking friends. Like, you know what I mean? So, shit. But so, so like, with mental illness, like, has that been a, a struggle for you or ever? Oh, uh, yeah, bro. For, uh, for a long time, I, I used to think I killed myself, like, all the time. For real? I swear to God. Yeah. Uh, just, like, how did you pull up out of that, bro? Uh, or what kept you? You know what kept you going? Shit, realizing that like life, 
Life is really what you make it. Like you know what I'm saying? It sounds like you know what I'm saying, like like a slogan, but I swear to God, you know what I'm saying? Like like however you perceive life is, is how it's gonna be. If right. you perceive life is fucked up, it's gonna be fucked up. Okay. You're gonna see everything that's fucked up in the world. Because right. that's all that it, it, it's your all focus you on. Yeah. If you if you live in La La Land and you know what I'm saying, if you yeah. think everything's happy, you know what I'm saying, I feel like I, I gained a more realistic view. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit can be fucked up sometimes, and that's just, that's just it's what it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it can be good, you know what I'm saying, if, yeah. if you focus on trying to make it that way. Because I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you, you got to understand, like, like, like shit going to happen. Like, you know what I'm saying, shit going to be down, shit going to be fucked up, you know what I'm saying? You can Sometimes you can probably do everything right, and it's still going to, you know what I'm saying, like, fall in your face. Fuck it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. Got you. You know, because, you know I, I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I don't... Necessarily, and I and I was talking to my partner about this the the other day. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily fault people for, for killing themselves. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes because they always look at it as weak. But I feel like, bro, you can't be a weak motherfucker to kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do okay. you, you understand what it takes to really? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take myself out, but I'm gonna go yeah. jump in front of a fucking car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna hang myself off a bridge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a fully loaded gun. And blow my brains out. That takes a certain level of strength. Like got, I feel right. like you gotta be a strong minded person to, to be to do that. To even go like you know what I'm saying? Cause I can't name a regular person that that'll just take that self out right now. Right. I give you a hundred dollars K so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas, niggas, exactly. niggas, niggas, niggas ain't doing that shit. But nah, nah, I, when I look at it, bro, I look at it as like the strength of what the nigga was dealing with though, too. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause But if, it's like what for, are you really dealing with the kill yourself? I mean, bro, that's I mean, what that's, that's what I'm saying, know. bro. I gotta keep it. I always, before I talk about mental illness, cause I don't want nobody out there saying this nigga capping or you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't always felt a type. Well, I didn't really have like no type of acknowledgement towards me, mental illness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it came to that shit, like nigga, suck it up, nigga. Like what the fuck you? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like only till recently. You know what I mean? Like, you know, shit, you know what we had going on with our partners, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, only till recently, like, it made me understand, like, I guess it have to come from experience. You know what I'm saying? Because I've never had to ever deal with that. Yeah. Like, but, and, and I've been raised to, nigga, you sit down and, and you deal with it. But when I've seen, like, how it can affect people, like, Nick, people that I look at as being, this strong motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Turn a nigga down completely. <laughs> like, bro, like, we don't know what a nigga's going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, bro. Like, and, and I don't I don't know. That's what I'm saying, when it, when it comes to a nigga actually taking they self out, I look at it as the strength of what this person was going through to say, like, nigga, fuck you. You know what I mean? Cause, at the end of the day, bro, we all know it's never that bad. So when you think of it, unless it's just, you know, just, I don't know, bro. I don't like to judge no, nigga out of the experience. I'm just, so. I'm just saying, I personally feel like I've come through, I've been through one of the worst, of the worst situations you might think of losing your mom, bro. Right. And dealing with that, bro, it's tough, bro. Like, no. hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. And if you dealt with that, and had to go through that, I feel like you can really deal with a whole lot of shit. Like right. losing a parent, bro, that's probably one of probably the worst situations it, ever. Right. And besides you dying, but you'll never know how you really feel about that. Nah, I feel you about right. shit. And then life yeah, bro. I feel you with that. So that's and, and that's honestly why I wanted to make that song to have conversations like this, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I feel like it's not something that uh, people like really just, you know what I'm saying, want to sick. Like, Look at like speak on or if they speak on it, it's kind of in a corny sense. No offense, you know what I'm saying. But they're trying to just throw up, you know what I'm saying. I don't know. It's just yeah. I, don't, I feel like you know what I'm saying because like <laughs> a lot of people, you know what I'm saying. They they have their, their down moments. They feel fucked up. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I know you you felt like nobody cared. Right. You know what I'm saying. I know you yeah. have.